guys it's the Macintosh guide and I'm back again with a brand new video now in today's video we're going to be upgrading my lovely 16 inch MacBook Pro from 2019 it's a fully specced out machine guys from Mac OS Big Sur to the latest version of Mac OS Ventura now you guys must be questioning me saying well what happened to Monterey I didn't have a pleasant experience with Monterey with this Intel machine and that's why I have now decided that I'm going to skip Monterey completely, which I have, and I'm going to switch directly to the latest version of Ventura. Now I use this machine mainly for development stuff, for infrastructure related stuff, and also some personal stuff that I needed to do with the machine over the last few years. I have switched to the latest M2 Max, and I also use an M1 Max machine. However, this machine is my favorite travel companion, and this is what we're gonna be upgrading to the latest OS. So guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy this one. So let's just have a quick look at the MacBook Pro. As you can tell, it's lovely and thin. It has two ports over here, which are USB-C, or Thunderbolt ports, as Apple like to say, and two extra ports over here. As a headphone jack as well, and that's it in terms of ports. Now, if we just quickly put the machine down and open it up, it will take a couple of, it will take a second, as you could just saw now. And you can see there's a lovely 16 inch display. I'll just get my M2 Max MacBook Pro and we'll, let's just do a quick comparison in terms of the screen size and then we'll get straight into upgrading the machine. And guys, just to give you a quick comparison, as you can tell the MacBook Pro M2 Max, 16 inches on the left hand side, and then you've got the Intel machine right here on the right hand side. So you can see the key difference in terms of the screen. You can see the 16 inch actually brought in a more um, thinner bezels. Whereas the 16 inch for the Apple Silicon side, thinner bezels all around. And then you've got the notch at the top. Uh, whereas the 16 inch up here has a thicker bezel at the top because of the camera. Um, I actually prefer the, the new design guys. But I do love this machine in terms of travel. It's much, much lighter. I will have a comparison video out later in the next couple of weeks, which will show you an in-depth comparison of the M2 Max, the M1 Max, and the 16-inch Intel MacBook Pro. So stay tuned for that, guys. Top, let's just quickly have a look at the specs of the machines. You can see it is on version Mac OS Big Sur 11.7.6. It's a MacBook Pro 16-inch 2019 model. It has a processor which which is a 2.4 gigahertz 8 core Intel Core i9. The memory is 64 gigs, and the graphics options are on Intel UHD. And I can also show you that the graphics card also includes the powerful AMD Radeon 5600M. So uh, it's an 8 gig variant as well. So yeah, it's a very beastly machine. Um, and I also have two terabytes of storage. So at that time, I pretty much maxed the machine out. So let's just do a quick Geekbench score, just so that we kind of have an idea of what to kind of go back on when we upgrade to Ventura. Um, I'm not going to sit here and do every single benchmark. It just doesn't make any sense. So yeah, let me just do a quick Geekbench score. Geekbench score, we can see that the single core score was 1,454, and we can see that the multi-core score was 6,881. Um, this is on the i9. It's an eight-core processor, 16 threads. Um, pretty respectable, pretty good, even for today's standard. I mean, the laptop's not that old, guys. It's from 2019 with a beastly CPU. So, yeah, you're not really going to be expecting any issues in terms of performance anywhere. But that's the Geekbench score for the CPU. I will quickly do a Geekbench score for the GPU as well. For the OpenCL is 38,821 in Big Sur. And the Metal score is 47,965. So those are the Geekbench scores for the GPU. Now let's begin the upgrade. What we do is go into System Preferences, go into Software Update. And then all we need to do is just wait for it to check for updates. Now, 
as I mentioned, we are not going to be going to Mac OS Monterey. It just wasn't an operating system that was stable enough for this Intel machine. I had numerous issues. Um, so let's jump into Mac OS Ventura on this machine. So if we just click on more info, it will give us some information about um, some of the features of the operating system. But we're not interested in that right now. We're interested in upgrading now. And then as you can tell, it's now downloading 11.78 gigabytes of data for this up update. So it's going to take me about 20 minutes or so. Uh, I've got a pretty good internet connection on gigabyte line, so it should be very swift. Once it has finished, guys, I will quickly show you the update process. So just a little side video i thought i'd make quickly make as you guys could probably tell the fan is going nuts and this is the story of intel machines in general um it just for the smallest things it needs to ramp up i've not heard a single fan on my m1 or m2 max machines but intel max this was normal it's like really hot to touch right here as it usually is um, but yeah, just a side little video I thought I'd quickly make about the fan noises. So I hope you guys can hear that going off crazy. And now it is restarted. So it is now officially installing macOS Ventura. So this is going to probably take like 10, 15 minutes. But I thought I'll just do a quick update. macOS Ventura, as you can tell, the new wallpaper is showing up. If we go into About This Mac, you can see the new layout for About This Mac. As you can see, Ventura 13.3.1 has been installed on the machine so there's a few applications that are brand new you've got the free form app which is like a whiteboard app um i don't really use this i don't really find it interesting so i don't have any use for it um, and then you've got the weather app which also shows your weather information so i believe this is ported directly from um, ios ipad os side uh, which i'm quite surprised it took apple this long to bring it across um i did a bit of testing in terms of xcode which works fine um it's done a small deployment test i did i can't actually show you xcode or visual studio because of the fact that i've got company information so i sorry guys i can't show you that um, but yeah it's working as normal um the machine is actually quite hot i can't obviously uh, show that indication but yeah the machine is is, is a bit warm to the touch so far but it's obviously just installed the operating system let's just go ahead and do some geekbench scores and we will be back what's in our benchmark so the single core score was 1443 and the multi-core score is 7033 this has actually increased not by a huge amount but it has increased um, in terms of our cpu score now the geekbench results for the gpu were very interesting for sure um the OpenCL score went up by nearly a thousand um, or a couple of hundred. Um, so the score for the OpenCL GPU test is 39,051. And we see a drastic increase um, in the Metal score, which is 55,728. So yeah, exceptional scores on Ventura. So quite happy with it. I've actually not seen a single issue besides this. <laughs> this is the weather widget. Uh, uh, sorry, it's not the weather widget, it's the calendar widget, um, and it doesn't work. So I'm pretty sure I just need to replace it with my my fantastic one. But mm, yeah, that's the only issue I've seen so far. Everything else with um, Ventura seems to be pretty good. Um, so yeah, those are the Geekbench results, guys. Things um, which were just really interesting to me. I've obviously used Ventura on other systems, especially the M2 Max. But I wanted to just try the stage manager feature on my Intel machine. So if I click on the control center, click on stage manager, boom, it works. There's no issues. Yay, I can toggle between all the apps. Whoa, amazing. So yeah, I, I didn't think this was going to be problematic. But yeah, stage manager works absolutely fine. Render settings menu, guys. Like, what the hell is this? This is absolutely horrible this is just like ios i don't like it i still hate it i think apple should give us an option if we want it uh, as it was before like i'm all up for options apple you you can give us more um functionality in terms of changing appearances like i would love if apple would allow us to do more of that um, but this is just not it this isn't that great so yeah 
that's the only other function that's the only other i guess not feature but yeah appearance wise i just didn't really enjoy and obviously the, the other feature which which obviously applies now is the security response um, that Apple have now started allowing us to do from Ventura. So yeah, I've already got one, which is a 13.3.1a um, update. So I presume it's just really quick. It just restarts uh, quite quickly and installs it. So yeah, those are the two features, guys, for macOS Ventura. So what do I think of macOS Ventura on my 16-inch MacBook Pro? Well, it works fine. I've not really had a problem. Everything is working as expected. My external monitors have had any issues. Um, so I would say it's a pretty successful upgrade besides some of the widgets not wanting to work. Um, yeah, I mean, in terms of my functionality, my day-to-day -day workflow, Ventura is working. Um, it works fine on my M2 Max machine and it's certainly working fine on my Intel. This machine is my travel machine, guys. So yeah, it, it gets used. Um, it does get used quite often, uh, when I'm, when I'm in and out of the country. So yeah. Macros Ventura, do I suggest upgrading it on a 16-inch 2019 MacBook Pro? Yes, go for it, guys. I think it will be very stable. Um, and, yeah, I don't really see a, pro a problem with it. If you guys like the video, uh, leave a like and subscribe, guys. And, yeah, I shall see you in the next one.